Jerron Boutsinis is in a peculiar situation. He told Terrence Crawford recently, if you send me a contract to fight, I will sign it. If you send me an offer, I will sign it. But Terrence Bud Crawford is looking to make the most money possible in his career in his next fight. It could be his last fight. We don't know if the Errol Spence Jr. rematch is going to occur. And it sounded like last time Bud spoke on the Arrow fight that he wasn't sure if the rematch was still on the table as well. But recently, Bozy Ennis did an interview with YSM, and Bozy said, we stay available, we available for everybody. Now, recall that Jerron Ennis basically inherited Terrence Bud Crawford's IBF title because the IBF had put some type of timeline on when Crawford was supposed to defend the title, which to me didn't make a lot of sense if they knew he was going to have to be, or he was already in a contract with Errol Spence. But that doesn't change the fact that Jerron Ennis is an exciting fighter. He's a promising fighter. We don't know how great he is or how good he is because he hasn't been able to prove it. Some people say, who has he fought? While others, again, if the man doesn't have the opportunity to fight someone, who do you want him to fight? Right? These guys like Keith Thurman, we don't know the situation with that fight. He's basically wanting to fight the winner of Spence Crawford. But the winner of that fight, Crawford, he wants to fight someone like Canelo or possibly Tank Davis. If Tank came up to 147, he said he would entertain that fight. See, I can understand the position of Crawford as a boxer and a businessman. However, I am not Terrence Crawford. I am someone who loves boxing and likes to see exciting boxing matches. And what I find is that this fight here, it's been in circulation so long. Fights like Tim Zhu versus Crawford just got started getting mentioned. Fights like Canelo versus Crawford just started getting mentioned when Crawford mentioned that he might go up to 68 for Canelo. But see, this fight here between Boots and Bud, it's been around for years. In fact, they shared... I believe they shared the same advisor at one time, Cameron Duncan. And Bud even said that he used to hear about Boots and the Amateurs because they said they fought similar, you know, that they reminded, uh, that people were reminded of Bud watching Boots. And Boots has shown that he's very talented. The way he switches, his reflexes, he's basically a walking highlight. And so I find that all I hear is fans who don't get a cut of what Terrence Crawford is doing. They don't get paid anything from Terrence Crawford's fight. They don't get a dime. They don't get anything from Crawford's purse. Yet they will speak as if they're Terrence Crawford. I let Terrence Crawford speak and I understand what he's saying. It's simple. I understand, but saying that I wanted to retire at 33. I thought I would be retired by 33. Here I am, 35, 36, and I'm still fighting. I fought Errol at 35 years old. I beat him. They said I was ducking him. Now I want to fight for the biggest purse possible. If there's a purse out there for 10, 20, 30 million dollars, that's the one I want. I don't want to revert in, you know, and I keep saying this, he's not fighting boots for free, but I understand from Crawford's standpoint how he feels about who he fights next. But what does that have to do with fans, right? Because if I'm a fan of boxing, you know, I can say, hey, I support Crawford's decision to do what he wants next. However, I would like to see this fight. Two things can be true. I can understand how a fighter I like wants to move in boxing, but I can also have my own interest on who I would like to see them fight. I don't know that Canelo is a secured fight for Crawford. Right now, it's just fantasy, right? Because 
The latest reports are saying that Canelo may fight Jermall Charlo next and then David Benavidez, two guys who are around 168 pounds, right? So then who does that leave? Who are these mega fights for Crawford at 147 and 154? It's not Tim Zhu, is it? Probably not Keith Thurman, is it? So I think what I'm saying is the guys that are left, when you move, remove Canelo, they're all what and what. Tim Zhu is not a pay-per-view star. He got some motion in Australia, but nobody knows him in America. Keith Thurman hasn't been heard of in years, right? Even though I would want to see that. So I just think that fans, because these are the people I talk to, right? These are the people that watch this video, fans of boxing, fans of a man sometimes, fans of just one fighter sometimes. Why don't y'all want to see exciting fights? Why don't you want to see an interesting fight? Would you rather Bud retire or fight Boots Ennis, right? If you say you would rather Bud retire than to fight Boots Ennis, you're telling me Boots is a bad motherfucker. That's all you're telling me. Because there's no way I would want to see my favorite fighter who looked great in his last fight, who looked phenomenal in his last fight, who showed no signs of old age or worse. In his last fight, retire. He's not Muhammad Ali when he fought Larry Holmes. Way past it, old, out of shape, nothing to give the game. That's not who Bud Crawford is. Bud Crawford is a gym rat, just like Boots is a gym rat. Bud Crawford was in great shape. He didn't break a sweat. He wasn't breathing hard. He looked like an absolute savage in his last fight. Why would I want to see that man retire? I don't want to see him retire. I want to see him fight. Errol in a rematch, possibly. Errol is the one who looks like he might be regressing due to all his ailments. The man basically said he fought with one eye. Whether you think he did or he didn't, he just had surgery on his eye again. So that's a bigger money fight. Canelo's a bigger money fight. I think it's crazy to even consider Tank at 147 when people say Tank shouldn't fight past 135. And I don't think Tank would go to 47 to fight, but why would he do that if he's the A-side? He's not going to do that. If anything, he'll drain Bud down to something like 140. So again, where does that leave the landscape? Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, Tim Zhu, Jermel Charlo, who disappointed a lot of people in his fight against Canelo. There isn't a bunch of money fights out there for Bud. You know, is Sean Porter a bigger attraction than Boots? If so, by how much? How much bigger of an attraction is someone like Sean Porter than Boots. So I think personally, as someone who is in the crowd when Bud fights, you see, I'm not in Bud's corner holding the towel or holding the ink swell or holding the pads. I'm not in Bud's shoes, though I understand his position. So let me, re let me reiterate. I understand Bud's position. I don't need people in the crowd to tell me, what he's saying or what he's trying to do or what he, I already know that, but I'm in the crowd. And in the crowd, we can have our own thoughts on what we'd like to see. Would I watch and pay for him versus Canelo? Of course I would. But will Canelo answer that call? That's not something that's secured for him. Canelo could easily say, nah, I'm good. Then what? Now we're in the crowd. We got no Canelo. Now what? People in the crowd. You want Bud to retire? No, 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 no. I want to see somebody across from him. The question is, who do you want to see across from Bud if Canelo is not there, if Errol is not there? And tell me it's not Boots.
Or you want to see him fight Keith Thurman, someone who's been super crazy and active? That hasn't looked good in, or great in years? Who? Who you want to see? So I think it's telling for all the people that make excuses why this fight can't happen. According to Bozy Ennis, he says, I know what Terrence is going to do. Terrence is going to find the next best fighter that he can make a lot of money with. That's what I would do. My question is, if it's not Errol and it's not Canelo, who is it? Right? So, again, I understand Bud's position, but as someone in the crowd that pays for fights, and some of y'all don't pay for fights, right? Why didn't Bud's last fight do over a million with Errol Spence? Because y'all talk more than you actually support boxing. And then you dismiss fights and degrade fighters, and then when the time comes around to getting to buy a fight, you don't buy it. And you wonder why Boots isn't some big attraction or even Bud. For years, Bud wasn't considered a big attraction. He didn't fight on pay-per-view. In fact, he told us that. He told us that he was in a contract where he would get 6 to 8% of pay-per-view buys if it hit a certain number. And some most of these fights didn't hit that number. That's what he said on Earn Your Leisure. So again, I ask you. Why are fans so against this fight, yet this fight won't leave the tongue of fans, whether they're denouncing it or promoting it? Talk to me in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you feel like I'm hating, go for it. It only shows that you all are insecure about your fights. If I think Bud is a bad motherfucker, do him like Canelo did, like, like Floyd did Canelo. You think this kid is good? He's not on my damn level. Let me show you. I'm 36. He's 25, 24 years old. Let me, let me school you, son. Let me take you to school. Again, Boots said, if you send me an offer, I will take it. 80-20 to nigga something. You know what I'm saying? Like, call his bluff. You know? But let me know what y'all think in the comments. It's the baddest brand in the lane. Champ side.